Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are going to continue working on this Firebase music source. And I hope in this part, it will get clear why we did all this stuff here in the last video, which was quite complicated, but this part um, won't be that complicated. So we will actually worry about getting all of, all of our songs from Firestore and then just providing them in a format that we want to have in our service. Okay. So I actually want to start to implement a list that contains so-called media metadata compat objects. Such an object just contains meta information about a specific song. So very, very similar to our song class, just that it can potentially hold much more meta information about the song. And that is just the format we need our songs to be in, in our type of service that we chose here. So in our Firebase music source class, we will create a private val or actually var um, called songs. And we set that equal to an empty list by default of type media metadata compat. Well, let's actually make this a public variable here because we need access to that songs list from our service. Next, I want to create a function, um, a suspend function called fetch media data. And that will be the actual function that gets all of our song objects from Firebase. And that will take no parameters here. And we set that equal to with context. So we just want to switch the current coroutine context to the IO dispatcher. So dispatchers.io. If you're new to coroutines, that basically just means that we switch the currently running thread of the coroutine to the IO thread, which is just optimized for IO operations, such as network operations or database operations. And in this block, we can now you can see we have a coroutine scope and we can execute suspend functions. And now to get all of our songs as a list from Firebase, we actually created this music database class here. So we already have that function to get out songs, but we need access to this database in our Firebase music source. Because of that, I want to inject that into the constructor of this class. So inject constructor. And in here, we are just going to use a private val music database which is of type music database, of course. And then we also need to provide this music database in our service module, because we only need this Firebase music source inside of our service. So we can annotate this new function with service scoped again, with add provides, and that will just provide an empty music database. So function provide music database, and we set that equal to new music database. And that's already it. So that will just allow Dagger Hilt to be able to inject this music database instance into our Firebase music source class. So what do we actually want to do in our fetch media data function? Well, of course, we want to get all the songs from our Firebase database, but we also want to change this state to initializing because now we know, well, it is created, of course, because that's the initial state. But now before we want to actually um, fetch the data from Firebase, we want to set the state equal to state initializing, not initialized, that would lead to errors. And now we can create a list, all songs. So now we want to get all songs from Firebase and we can easily use our music database for that and use the get all songs function here. And now this all songs list here, if you press control Q on that, you can see that is a list of song and song is our custom entity here that we created, but we have a list of media metadata compat objects here. So what we need to do is we need to use the map function to just map such a song object to such a media metadata compat object. So we set our songs list equal to all songs dot map. And we can actually give this a name. So we, we now go through each song and create such a corresponding media metadata compat object with the information we have saved in this song object here. And for that, we have a simple builder pattern. So we can just set that to a new media metadata compat dot builder, uh, media metadata, of course, media metadata compat dot builder. And now we can call dot put string functions on that. So that is very similar to shared preferences. So we can now put specific metadata information into this object. And 
for the keys, we just always use this metadata underscore followed by whatever kind of metadata we want to have here. So metadata underscore key underscore artist, for example, then we can import that from this one here from media metadata compat, not the first one, choose this one. And then we can set the value of that key equal to our song dot subtitle because we will save the artist in our subtitle variable. And yeah, we now need to do that with quite a bunch of variables here. So also put string metadata underscore key underscore media ID. This one here in which we will put our song dot media ID, then put string metadata you can just take a look here. Metadata key title is something we need. Song.title. Put string again. Metadata key. What else do we have? Display title is also important. Also to song.title. So I don't really know why they differ between the normal title and the display title. But I think the display title is just the title that is, for example, displayed in the notification. And we also have to use put string with metadata. Um, oh man, that is so much metadata image URI. I think we have metadata icon URI. Yeah, display icon URI. So we just put in our URL of our icon there. So song dot image URL. We have to also do the same with our actual song URL. So put string metadata. I think it's called media, yeah, media URI. And we put in the song dot song URL. And we also have some more of these display properties here. And I think also the album art URI. So let's use metadata album art URI. That is basically just the image for the current album for which I will just choose the same image as we have before so just song dot image URL then we have put string again metadata underscore with these display properties again so display underscore subtitle which we will set to song dot subtitle and I think one more is missing which is put string metadata display description, which I'll also just set to song that subtitle. I'm not entirely sure if we need all of these, but just to be sure I include these here. And then we can simply call that build afterwards. Okay, and now what we shouldn't forget here is that we should also set the state accordingly after we fetch the data. So now we want to set the state to state initialized because now we already downloaded the whole data and converted it to our songs list basically. So what this will do is because we implemented the setter here for the state, that means whenever we set the value of our state to something else, we will trigger this setter here. And you can see if we are either in state initialized, so if the new value here is equal to state initialized, which it is here, then we will just go through this on ready listeners list here. So through our list of Lambda functions, and just trigger this listener here. And since now our state is equal to initialized, we just call all these listeners with state being equal to true, um, with uh, initialized, of course, being equal to true. So that means wherever we wait for this music source to finish loading, the Lambda function will now be called there. So we can just continue with the normal stuff that we need to do when that is loaded. Okay. Next, I want to create a function here that is called function as media source. So a media source in ExoPlayer is just, well, just a single song basically. And that song can be played with ExoPlayer. Of course, we don't just want to have a single song here. Instead, we kind of want to have a playlist of songs. So not a real playlist, but we want to play the first song and when that is finished, it should automatically play the second one, then the third one and so on. And for that, we need to create a so-called concatenating music source. So that is basically just a list of several single music sources. And I will create this function here to just convert this list here into such a media source object. 
And that will take an instance of our data source factory, which is of type default data source factory. We provided this data source factory in our service module here, down here, and we will inject that into our service, or we already did that. So we will just pass that here as a parameter. And that will return, as I said, a concatenating media source. And that function is actually pretty simple here. We just want to create such a concatenating media source that is just empty by default, and then just add all of our songs to it. So val concatenating media source is equal to new concatenating media source. And then we use our songs list dot for each. So we just go through all of our songs, name that song here. And now we want to just create single media sources. So for each song, and then just add this single media source to this concatenating media source. So in the end, we have all of our single songs as media sources in this list of media sources here. So val media source is equal to progressive media source dot factory. And here we need to pass our data source factory. And then we call a dot create media source. And you can see here we can just pass a URI for which we can pass um, song dot get string. So that is now the same as we did be uh, before just in reverse with the key metadata underscore media URI. And we need to convert that to a URI. And that is already it. And then we can use our concatenating media source and add a new media source here and just pass our just created single media source. And after that function, after that for loop, we want to return our concatenating media source. And now I want to create one more function, which is just also about formatting. So there's also another type of uh, media stuff that we need here. And that is a list of so called media items. So for now, we had this list here of media metadata compat and that just contains meta information about the song. Then we had this concatenating media source, which contains the information for exoplayer from where it, it can stream that actual song. And now we want to have a list of media items, which is kind of a single item in our list, basically. So for example, a song or either a playlist, an album, so basically a browsable. So we can either click on that item and it will open a new list of songs and new items or that item is simply a song. So I actually have explained that before. That is this media browser behavior I talked about that we could implement kind of a file manager here for our songs. But we just need that as a list of media items in our music service. So we will create a function here to convert that function as media items doesn't take any parameters. And we can directly set that equal to songs dot map. So we again want to map our songs list. And we want to create a so called um, description metadata object, I don't know, well, description is equal to media, media description comp, but it is dot builder. So that will again, just contain meta information about the song. So we can set the media URI equal to song dot get string metadata key media URI dot to URI, oops, to URI. And then we want to set the title to song dot and we can actually access the title by using song dot description dot title, just not the media URI. And then we want to set the subtitle to song dot description dot subtitle. We want to set the media ID to song dot description dot media ID. And finally, we want to set the icon URI to song dot description dot icon URI, and then call dot build. And then we can return in this list a media browser compat dot media item, and simply create that with our just created description. 
And we want to set a flag here, which is the flag playable. So as I said, that is a media browser here. So it can either be an item that is a song that is playable, or it can be an item that is browsable. So an album, recommended section, playlist, whatever. But we only have our simple songs here. So we will use flag playable here. And we need to import that from this second library here again, from Android support v4 and so on. And that is now it for our Firebase music source class. Nothing more will come to this. That one is finished. And I hope everything was understandable here. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments. And in the next part, we will worry about the notification. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, hit the like button, comment below, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Have an awesome day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.